The Guyana Police Force remains tight-lipped on whether head of the Major Crimes Unit of the Guyana Police Force, Superintendent of Police Mitchell Caesar, was detained for more than seven hours by FBI agents at the John F. Kennedy International Airport. But Vice President Barrett Jack on Thursday hinted that if Mitchell Caesar was indeed detained by FBI agents in New York, he prefers the local police to comment on the issue. We saw that in the media, it came out in the media, the, um, the report from what we got, uh, from what I got, uh, a report was made to the superior officer or the senior officer of that policeman. Nightly News was told that the senior policeman was detained twice by FBI agents last week. It is unclear at this point why Mr. Caesar was detained and what specifically he was questioned about. VP Jack Dio had this to say on reports of Caesar's reported detention by FBI agents. Oh, I, I personally, I did not seek to find out what it related to because um, that should be dealt with by the police force. The United States of America will not tell us what their questions are, why they question people, because they, that's immigration matter. They don't, as a matter of policy, they don't release why visas are withdrawn or, or denied. Caesar, who is currently in the United States of America, was among several police officers who had traveled to India on fully paid scholarships to receive training in forensic interviews. So that will engage the leadership of the police force. Um, and that's where the matter will be dealt with. The VP claims to have zero tolerance for police corruption. If there is any criminality on the part of anyone in government, then once the information is shared with us formally by the U.S. government, there'll be action taken against people. Most recently, Mr. Caesar had denied allegations that he was involved in attempts to cover up and interfere in the murder investigation of biker Ricardo Fagundes. Travis Chase, HGP Nightly News.